So hi, my name's Rob Kennedy. I've been a paper maker now for, for a couple of years. I work predominantly with, with Harakiki, the native New Zealand flax. And I want to take a little bit of time to explain why I enjoy paper making and what I hope to do with it. Yeah, I mean, I think almost all cultures have a, have a plant that's like, you know, their, yeah, their real substance plant that they just do everything with. And there's this lot of research done on, on, on how to kick it because of the, the cultural significance. And then also more recently, the, um, you know, the conservation value and, the, and, and the, the use of it on farms as well. The best way of, of caring for the plant while harvesting it. So you sort of, you know, you want to start at the outside and protect the, the crown in the middle of it. That's really important. This is the youngest leaf of this, of this plant. Um, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't cut that. Um, you'd cut the outside ones, but you'd always leave the, the child, the parent and the grandparents. So you'd leave enough for the, um, for the, for the plant to, to be able to sustain itself. So yeah, for the, for the paper making, I would, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be worried about that. Well, I think from my perspective, I've, I found my way into paper making as a way of wanting to see conservation that was able to support itself intrinsically. So this was this, there's an idea around, you know, a lot of conservation, a lot of good activities, if you like, they, they require funding. What I was interested in is whether rather than calling the money that's given to conservation as funding, call it capital, call it seed capital, and, and, and look at reframing conservation as sort of social enterprise. For, for me, paper making is, it, it, there's a really good crossover between a lot of things that I'm interested in. And, you know, I'm working with plants, I can, I, can have, I can have my conservation interests satisfied, I can work with groups who are digging up flax, dividing it, you know, they'll be turning one of these large flax into 50 plants that they can, they can spread across the, the landscape. What they can't use is all those leaves. But what I like about the paper making is that it's, a, it's an all of plant product it, it you know whether we're whether we're dealing with the, the dead leaves which not many people ha I don't know of any other use for dead leaves than for paper making the the tikanga the tradition the um, the protocols for how you work with the plant you don't want to take you don't want to if you're not going to use it don't take it is the is the is the protocol and what you do take make use of I think it's time for New Zealand to to um, have products that are intrinsically New Zealand. They are from Aotearoa, they are of this place. Yeah, giving people a nice, a nice experience with nature and, and with a memorable product that is, it's not something that you'll get somewhere else. This is the challenge that I, that I really enjoy and I really value, is about saying, it's got potential. Do I have enough in me to, 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 uh, to achieve the potential that something else has? And, um, you know, just, just really going after it. Everything that suggests that there is a potential solution is embodied in, in, in Harakeke and, and I, it's a problem that I want to contribute towards creating a positive, a positive solution. That's really why in the depths of winter I'm prepared to put my hands up to my elbows in what can be really cold water for hours on end. Uh, <laughs>